which conspiracy theory is so believable that it might be true? That your phone's microphone is constantly hot and it's listening for keywords to target advertising. Most glaring instance where this happened to me was when I walked into a colleague's office. He had just gotten a standing desk, but one that goes on top of his existing desk, rather than a standalone, pun? Model. That's important to note. I said nice standing desk, when did you get that? Thanks, just today. He replied. That was literally all that was said about the desk. We talked about work related stuff, and as I walked out, and checked my phone, there was an ad on Facebook for that exact model of standing desk. I have never owned one wanted one, or googled one before, yet there it was on my feed, tinfoil hat be darned, they listen in, I've had this happen to me twice in the last month, things I talked about with my daughter, one being hard boiled eggs, showed up on my feed hours later, there it was, an ad for a hard boiled egg cooker, never googled anything about hard boiled eggs, weird af, I can't remember the first one, when I said something to my daughter about it after the first time, she called me crazy. When I showed her the egg thing, she said, well dang, you might be right. This isn't even a conspiracy theory. Stay on top of your app permissions, especially for Google services and apps, background stuff especially. This happened to me a couple weeks ago. I talked to someone at work on a smoke break about thinking about trying to get a job with CSX, American Rail Company, and then I had an ad for CSX careers on my newsfeed. Full credit to you slash the next village for this one. The arms on Tyrannosaurus Rex skeletons are backwards. They ought to be rotated 180 degrees. What good are these stubby little arms for? We have found out relatively recently that T-Rex have feathers. It is now an established fact, T-Rex were not covered in scales but in feathers, like a bird. Take the arms on a T-Rex, and flip them around 180 degrees, now you have wings like an ostrich. Here is an illustration of an ostrich skeleton. See the small arms? Wings. Now look at a Tyrannosaurus. We used to think of almost all dinosaurs as lizard-like, in fact the name means terrible lizard. Now we know that many different animals that we think of as dinosaurs are more bird-like than lizard-like. XKCD comic below illustrates this nicely. Tyrannosaurus rex had wings. Not big wings to fly with, but wings that were perhaps something like that of an ostrich, cassowary, or emu, although likely much smaller in proportion to their body. Ostriches use their wings in mating rituals to make themselves appear larger, and to signal and communicate, perhaps T-Rex used this for some similar purpose. They did not have useless stubby little arms. This just blew my mind. I hope this catches steam. The Laurel Canyon Conspiracy. Basically, if you look at the counterculture evolutionaries in the music industry in the 60s, most of them were the children of military intelligence people. So the theory is, that the free love, lots of drugs movement they inspired, was done intentionally to distract the youth from a full scale revolution. The thought was, if the angry youth of the mid to late 60s were too high, and getting laid all the time they would stop caring as much about societal ills, and then basically sleepwalk through the 70s, which they did. I stumbled upon this, when I was reading up on Jim Morrison, and how his father was the one who called in the fake strike at the Gulf of Tonkin that kicked off the Vietnam War, and which was shown later, to have been a false flag. Turns out, a lot of his contemporaries were also children of highly placed military people with ties to intelligence. Strange that they all wound up in Laurel Canyon as part of the same movement. Why? Blew my mind too. I just assumed it was bullcrap, until I started looking up all of these famous musicians of the era, and seeing their parents were mostly military intelligence. Too much freaking coincidence that their kids would all get into music, let alone all gravitate to the same canyon in Cali. Memes about the NSA and other spy programs are encouraged by the very agencies spying on us to twist the idea into the absurd and to humanize their agents or make everyone paranoid for even asking questions about the surveillance state. This is the best conspiracy theory template because it works for any conspiracy. The people actually behind it all are making up absurd stories about it to make people think it's outlandish. It certainly is fitting with the anti-antivax movement. My NSA agent is nice. He doesn't bother me or stop me from browsing Reddit all day. 
Bill, you ought to stop in for coffee next week. You've seen my shopping history, so you know I buy the good stuff. There will be no curiosity, no enjoyment of the process of life. All competing pleasures will be destroyed. But always, do not forget this, Avonlinza, always there will be the intoxication of power, constantly increasing and constantly growing subtler. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face, forever. Miley Cyrus's crazy streak was all a carefully planned marketing scheme to get her solidified as an A-list celebrity. I believe it was done to make Disney completely cut ties with her and kill the image of Hannah Montana. It's worked too. Hannah Montana was quite possibly Disney's largest TV show ever, but I haven't seen anyone even mention it for over 4 years now, and despite Disney cashing in on old IPs, Aladdin, Kim Possible, Lion King, etc, we have yet to even hear an unsubstantiated rumor regarding Hannah Montana. Dad, is that you? But seriously though, my dad has been saying this since she first went wild. She had to do something completely extreme to destroy the image of Hannah Montana and thus allow her to begin her own career as Miley Cyrus. Wrecking Ball was literally that, a wrecking ball to the Hannah Montana image. This isn't a conspiracy or a great revelation. It's logical and has been done by many pop stars before and after Miley Cyrus worked when Jessica Biel wanted out of her contract with 7th Heaven. She post topless and they fired her. Honestly I heard about Hannah Montana so, dang, much back in the day, that I'm okay never having it mentioned again. The show was fine but the advertising. Dear God. The Vatican holds horrible dark secrets and many answers to existential questions. And that Area 51 is a publicity stunt by the government to hide the real testing facility. I believe that Area 51 has some stuff that they wouldn't want getting out. But I think it's all pretty normal and the general public wouldn't find too shocking. It's definitely hyped up though to distract us from some other base where the real weird crap goes down. My dad served at Roswell for a while. He still gets a spooked look if you say the name and he hears you. The only thing he said about it, after years of asking, is that he saw some things that happened on a road trip as we were driving past Rachel, Nevada. I don't know much about what went down at Roswell, but I wouldn't be surprised if something weird went down but then on top of that top brass didn't tell people lower down, like your dad perhaps, exactly what was going on. So the weird crap plus wild speculation from board and under slash misinformed troops could really really drum up some wild theories that would stick with people. Yeah, he served as a nurse or whatever the Air Force equivalent was at the time. Low ranking for sure, so I'm sure there was a lot of rumors going around plus inky stuff. Top secret medical testing on inmates and low ranking slash non-essential Air Force personnel is what he likely saw. The president of the Philippines, Duterte, is very anti-drugs to hide his own involvements with drug cartels off which he makes billions. Funny enough, he once told supporters that if his own children were found to be dealing in drugs, they should be executed. Not long after, one of his children was found to be involved with a big shipment of cocaine, if I recall correctly, still alive. I may be shaky on some of the details here, but I remember reading this on Duterte's Wikipedia page. I'm at work, we'll find the source later, if anyone is interested. Edit, thanks to everyone who has posted sources in the comments. I got some of the details wrong, meth, not coke, etc, but the gist is accurate. Also, dude had had a past drug issue with fentanyl, that nobody really knows if he's clean from, and apparently smokes weed. He's definitely clearing the market of any competition. Good way to secure control of supply. Only problem is you scare slash kill off a ton of customers. It's actually a good long term strategy though. Say you only captured 20% of the market. Then you instigate these changes. The market shrinks to 40% of its original size. But now you are capturing nearly all of that. That's a good growth. Now if you make everyone else selling illegal, any new business will have to be yours. So as the market grows, you get all of the benefit. This guy organizes crime. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more videos like this. 
don't forget to leave your stories in the comments below.